Follow me to a place where incredible feats are routine every hour or so. Where enchantment runs rampant, yes, wild in the streets. Open sesame. Here we go. Pretty cushy, eh, boo? Aladdin, opening trade with Quirkistan is a very important assignment. Oh, I won't let you down, Jasmine. Remember, you and I are going to be together forever. You do know a bit about diplomacy. Yeah, like a cockroach knows quantum physics. The very model of diplomacy. <laughs> so, what did this job cost you, Al? <laughs> you can't buy a diplomatic post, Genie. If you believe that. Perhaps I can interest you in the Brooklyn Bridge. Special low price, one time offer. Kirkus stands just over these mountains. This is Quirkistan? We want to trade with this place. Terrific. We'll import all the pestilence and misery we need. Bellowed for me, Your Highness. There's a speck in the royal milk. Why, yes, there is a teensy, weensy little. Uh, 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 that is an enormous, vicious speck. I'll get you a fresh glass right away. Well, he's in fine form today. Earthquakes and thunder already, and we aren't even through breakfast. I just hope the delegation from Agrabah cheers him up, or all of Quirkistan is doomed.
This is going to hurt. It's gonna be one of those trips. I do hope your visit cheers the king. He's been in such a foul mood since his birthday party. You mean nobody came? Everyone came, but no one told him about it. And that's the result. You see, Kyrgyzstan is an enchanted land. When the king is happy, it's bright and fruitful. When he's glum, it's gloomy. What about when he gets mad? Oh, pray you never find out. Why do I have the feeling we're gonna find out? Maybe it's because I did this. You see why I've offered this treasure to anyone who can lift the king's spirits. Joy! I can throw my voice! <laughs> Catching it is another matter. Well... <laughs> oh, why not? It's showtime! Aladdin, this is a diplomatic mission, not a circus. Hey, what's the harm in a few theatrics? In the name of diplomacy, of course. Oh, please, say you'll try. Well, all right, but let's keep it low-key. You got it. Nice and low-key and subtle. <laughs> Circus. Three rings. Quick, hands it before they hang up. Four rings. Five rings. <sighs> okay, forget the rings. Let's see some real big magic. The eternally puzzling sawing a woman in half trick. No problem. Everything under control. Let's just pretend we didn't try that one, all right? The always nominally interesting disappearing milk trick. Oh, oh, I've simply ruined my curly-toed pumps. Mm. You're too kind. Thank you. Uh, yeah, 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 man. And now, the amazing Aladdin and his dancing swords. Help, we're in trouble here. It's not working. More swords! That's what we need! Thanks, big fella! It's over! Hey! My sword! Wait! I've never juggled this many before! Hmm! Now that's interesting! It's working! It's working! Why is there never an arms dealer around when you need one? Did you say arms? I got arms, I have 
haven't even used yet. <laughs> no more swords. <laughs> I can't look. We are not amused. Please give us one more chance. like this could kill Vaudeville. Uh, it was worth a shot. King Mahmood, I'm sorry. They were just trying to help. If you really want to help, leave. We're going. Come on, Aladdin. Let's go before something really bad happens. Like what happened to the Golden Prince when he met the King of the Genies. What? Shh! Wait! You can't leave until you tell me about the Golden Prince. How did he meet the King of the Genies? Was he really golden or just kind of yellowish? Well, it happened like this. One day, the Golden Prince went to a great festival in the marketplace. You think this will work? We'll know soon enough. It's no use, Celia. Since the king's bad mood set in, the land will grow no food. If things don't change soon... you know, the princess must remain with us forever. What? I wouldn't leave Jasmine for all the treasure in the world. It's a curse. My life is cursed. Come on, Jasmine, we're going home. But no! Guards, stop them! Princess Jasmine is staying with me. Ah! <laughs> 
Jasmine, you know it's not your fault. but to fight our way out. So you're the reason we all have to take shelter in these caves. Yes, I'm afraid I am. Turn her over to King Mahmood! That will calm him down! You should be ashamed of yourselves. The princess has done nothing wrong. Just because we suffer, is it right to force suffering on others? But what is the law? My family will starve! The king! The king is here! <laughs> People outweigh her own. But you, you can't! Back to the palace! Goodbye, Aladdin.
can't believe Jasmine's really gone. What a bunch of gloomy gusses! The king's happy. There's a fortune waiting for us at the palace. Life is good! With that treasure, we can buy our own palace. <sighs> Full of empty rooms. Every meal will be a banquet. Eaten all alone. We'll go everywhere. We'll do everything. And it won't mean a thing without Jasmine. Uh, does the term wet blanket mean anything to you? Excuse me. I don't hear the sound of happy hammers out there. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Jeannie. <laughs> This stuff lasts for three days. It isn't fair! Why do I have to give up Jasmine just because of some kid's temper tantrums? Oh, don't be too hard on the king, Al. He doesn't know how miserable he's making everybody. There. Now there's an idea. Huh? Where? What story are you gonna tell me today? The story of a poor boy. A street rat, they called him, who was foolish enough to love a princess. He was a clever boy, and very funny, and extremely handsome. What? What's he doing here? Not him again. He's come to take you away. No, and if he has, I... I won't go. If you've come for Jasmine... Hold on, Your Highness. I just came to say... Goodbye. Oh, very well. But make it short. Farewell, my princess. Remember that I'll always love you. Farewell, Aladdin. My love. Excellency will permit, Jasmine's mother and father would also like to say goodbye. My mother? Your cue, thespians! Oh no! There is no way that I am gonna... This is a good look for you, and it could be permanent. for this one. Father? Uh, uh, clearly he's speechless with grief. I hope you know what you're doing. Trust me. And let's not forget your saintly old grandfather, the orphans from the village, and your pet wallaby, Edgar.
Now let's not go too far. I can't believe we came out of this without any treasure. Speak for yourself, oh flinty hearted one. Aladdin's got his treasure. Oh, for crying out loud. Are you trying to make me nauseous? Hey, there could be kids watching this!